Tech giants in the U.S. are reportedly on board with helping to widen the surveillance net for the country's immigration authorities, who are said to be planning even tighter vetting of visa applicants' social media accounts. Now, details of that emerged after a tech conference where government officials said that they're searching for algorithms which could help them assess potential dangers. Here's Caleb Maupin. The information revolution and the boom of social media have put the world at our fingertips, but they've also created some very convenient tools for the government. So is the IT sector still what the users want? U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement has asked tech companies, Microsoft included, to help them screen the social media of people holding or applying for American visas. In order to make that happen, the government is asking them to develop special algorithms. We have millions and millions and millions of people coming every year and subsequently departing, so we have to be smart about it, and I'm sure there are tools out there that can help. For Microsoft, this won't be the first experience they've had working with U.S. authorities. Last month, Microsoft released a program called Azure Government, a cloud service of classified information. Customers with secret requirements can expect to gain access to new technologies at scale including services such as cognitive capabilities, artificial intelligence, and predictive analytics. Amazon will also be helping to stock the government's toolbox. Last week, they released a cloud computing region that will be helping the CIA and other intelligence agencies. The AWS secret region is a key component of the Intel community's multi-fabric cloud strategy. U.S. Senator Mitch McConnell has blatantly stated that the IT sector should be working to serve U.S. foreign policy goals. And, of course, he mentioned the Russians. What we ought to do with regard to the Russians is retaliate, seriously retaliate against the Russians. And the, uh, these uh, tech firms could be helpful in having us, uh, given us a way to, to do that. The tech sector is private. It's supposed to only serve its users and its shareholders. But recently, more and more, it's starting to look like Silicon Valley is a wing of the U.S. government. Caleb Maupin, RT, New York. Well, on the back of that, U.S. journalist Derek Brose warns that people should be careful with their private information online when it comes to using the services of those tech giants. It's worth noting and, and understanding that when you search and you use Google, when you use social media tools like Facebook and these other um, softwares and these other types of uh, apps, that they often are very forthcoming with your information. They are willing to give your information over to the U.S. government without much of a fight. Some of them do put up a fight occasionally, but for the most part, they work with them very regularly. And that's something you should take into consideration and perhaps pursue alternatives. Google is not the only search engine that exists. There's better alternatives. There's better alternatives to Facebook. There's better alternatives to all these different companies. And at some point, the people should say, if you want to support the U.S. government's uh, surveillance and the U.S. government's uh, push towards a police state, then I'm not going to buy your product anymore. I'm not going to use your product anymore. It really will and could be problematic, especially with the social media monitoring of, of immigrants and really the social media monitoring of all Americans and in foreigners and people abroad. Um, it has implications beyond you know, just whether or not the U.S. and these private industries are working together. They're definitely working together, whether it's for profit or for something more nefarious. We don't know at this point, but I would say this is something more people should be paying attention to. There's always been private industry working for governments. That's kind of a standard practice. But I do think that what we're seeing is this relationship between big business, corporate uh, America, and uh, the U.S. government. It's getting further and further enmeshed until they're becoming just one single entity.